Simultaneous multi-threading, a feature that Intel calls hyper-threading, has become a real mainstay on consumer CPUs. Hyper-threading allows a single CPU core to process two threads at one time. And while this isn't quite as powerful as just having two physical cores, it certainly improves performance in many applications becoming important enough since it was originally introduced in 2002 to spread to a huge number of chips as far down as the lower end Core i3 series. But get this, Intel is planning to ditch hyperthreading after 22 years with the launch of its Lunar Lake and Arrow Lake processors later this year. Why would they get rid of what seems like such a useful feature? I mean, do they not want to beat AMD? A big part of this is the hybrid chip design that Intel started rolling out with its Alder Lake CPUs in 2021. Instead of having all the cores be basically identical, Team Blue instead gave us P, or performance cores, and E, or efficiency cores. Especially important for laptops where battery life is a paramount concern and you don't want to waste energy putting processes through more power hungry cores if you just don't need the extra performance. According to Intel, current P cores give you about 30% more average throughput when hyperthreading is enabled, but at the cost of a 20% increase in power consumption. And even if you're not running off a battery, this can matter a great deal in places like data centers, where you're trying to move as many threads as possible through your chips, meaning power consumption becomes an important concern and a big cost. So how is Intel trying to solve this power problem without losing that magic hyper-threading performance? We'll give you the answer right after we thank Delete Me. Online privacy isn't just personal, it's a family matter. Because of that, Delete Me is now offering seamless protection for your entire family with their family plans. With individual data sheets tailored to each member, their privacy-first design ensures personalized removal of personal information from online databases. From kids to adults, everyone stays safe from unwanted exposure and scams. Simplified management means peace of mind for all. So check out Delete Me at the link below and safeguard your family's digital world today. Although E cores obviously don't have the same processing muscle as P cores, Intel says it's much more efficient to run extra threads on those E cores instead of using hyperthreading on P cores. With the way the operating system schedules threads, it doesn't invoke hyperthreading until all cores, both P and E, have been populated in order to maximize power efficiency. Intel says that by foregoing hyperthreading and instead just having more E cores, you get a 15% increase in IPC, that's instructions per clock, per unit of power, and a 10% IPC increase per unit of die area. Hyperthreading is still better in terms of IPC per die area when you don't have those additional E cores. But seeing as Intel seems committed to their hybrid chip design, which also allows them to pack more cores onto their CPUs than in the past, Team Blue seems confident that users won't particularly miss hyperthreading. Remember that the feature was originally designed for a CPU that had just one core. Intel's benchmarks back this idea up, with Lunar Lake beating the previous gen Meteor Lake chips fairly comfortably, despite consuming a similar amount of power. Of course, we'll have to wait and see what independent benchmarks say once the chips actually hit the market, but the focus on efficiency isn't surprising, considering Intel is trying to stay ahead of the ARM-based offerings from both Apple and Qualcomm, which are touting power efficiency as a major selling point. But if you really do end up missing hyperthreading, it could be a great time to invest in a really high performance sewing machine. AO? I'm sorry, I'm sorry everyone. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked this video, check out this video on another type of CPU Intel killed called Itanium. Comment with video suggestions and don't forget to subscribe and follow.